Ever wondered about a classic Hollywood mystery that's not your typical whodunit? Meet Spellbound, a 1945 movie that's more than just a black and white spectacle. Picture this, a renowned psychiatrist, played by Ingrid Bergman, gets entangled in a web of suspense with Gregory Peck, a man with a mysterious past. The plot thickens, and so does the intrigue. Here's the hook buckle up, because there are funny, shocking, and downright sad facts waiting to unfold. Ever caught yourself wondering when you first laid eyes on this cinematic gem? Or maybe which classic Hollywood actor stole the show for you? Now, before you spill your popcorn, consider this what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this timeless flick? We're all ears and eager to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Spellbound, where mystery meets nostalgia and Hollywood's golden era keeps us hooked. Keep watching, keep sharing your stories are the real plot twists. Enchanting audiences since its debut in 1945, this cinematic masterpiece is far from your typical black and white spectacle. The plot unfolds around a distinguished psychiatrist portrayed by the talented Ingrid Bergman, who finds herself ensnared in a web of suspense with Gregory Peck, a man shrouded in mystery. The classic Hollywood mystery captivates with an intricate narrative and compelling characters. Set against a backdrop of psychological intrigue, the movie takes viewers on a journey through unexpected twists and turns. The plot thickens, revealing layers of suspense that keep everyone on the edge of their seats. The dynamic between the psychiatrist and Gregory Peck's enigmatic past creates a riveting storyline that goes beyond the conventional. As the narrative progresses, it seamlessly weaves together elements of humor, shock, and sorrow. The film's ability to blend these emotions adds depth to the overall viewing experience. The on-screen chemistry between the lead characters contributes to the timeless appeal. Premiering in 1945, it quickly became a hallmark of Hollywood's golden era. Its success is not only measured by box office numbers, but also by the lasting impact it left on audiences. The movie stands as a testament to the storytelling prowess of classic Hollywood cinema. Throughout the years, this classic has earned its place in the pantheon of cinematic achievements. The performances of Ingrid Bergman and Gregory Peck garnered critical acclaim, and the film itself received accolades for its innovative approach to storytelling. Its influence extends beyond its release, leaving an indelible mark on the history of cinema. Continuing to resonate with audiences, captivating new generations, and evoking a sense of nostalgia for the golden age of Hollywood, this timeless piece remains a must-watch, where mystery seamlessly meets the charm of yesteryears. Delving into the behind-the-scenes tapestry of the 1945 cinematic gem, Spellbound reveals a captivating saga that adds layers to its mystique. As the cameras rolled, the chemistry between Ingrid Bergman and Gregory Peck went beyond scripted lines, creating an atmosphere crackling with authenticity. In one memorable scene, the crew found themselves stifling laughter as a mischievous prop mishap unfolded. The antique chair that was meant to gracefully support Bergman decided to rebel, collapsing mid-shot. The unexpected incident, however, was seamlessly incorporated into the final cut, adding an unintended touch of humor to the intense narrative. Amid the meticulous orchestration of scenes, an unforeseen twist awaited. In a pivotal moment, Peck's character was supposed to deliver a riveting monologue, yet he found himself grappling with a sudden bout of forgetfulness. The crew, instead of panicking, observed the actor's improvised recovery, turning an on-set hiccup into a raw, genuine portrayal that resonated with audiences. Behind the camera, director Alfred Hitchcock's meticulous approach to suspense took an unexpected turn during the filming of a particularly suspenseful scene. Bergman, unaware of a surprise Hitchcock had planned, was genuinely startled, infusing an authentic jolt of fear that intensified the atmospheric tension. Spellbound's production, much like its plot, was not without its share of unexpected twists. From prop pranks to unscripted moments of brilliance, the behind-the-scenes anecdotes mirror the multifaceted nature of this Hollywood classic. These tales, hidden beneath the glossy surface of the silver screen, add a layer of charm to the enduring allure of Spellbound, where every blooper and anecdote becomes an integral part of its cinematic legacy. In certain scenes, keen observers might catch Gregory Peck quietly moving his lips while Ingrid Bergman delivers her lines, almost as if he's reciting them under his breath. This subtle act, often seen in young actors, could be a response to pressure or a precaution against forgetting their own lines. 
Initially proposed as Hidden Impulse by Sir Alfred Hitchcock, the movie eventually adopted the title Spellbound following a suggestion from studio secretary Ruth Rickman. The choice proved successful in pre-release surveys, setting the stage for the film's reception. Notably, Hitchcock expressed dissatisfaction with Peck's facial expressions, citing a lack of the desired emotive range. According to him, Peck's precise vision for facial expressions clashed with his Stanislavski training, emphasizing internal rather than external methods of acting. This divergence in approach created a dynamic on set, reflecting the director's meticulous planning and the actor's internalized technique. In the realm of the movie, Hitchcock's disappointment didn't hinder its success. The collaboration between Bergman and Peck, despite differences in method, contributed to the film's unique allure. Hitchcock's insistence on detailed facial expressions and Peck's internalized approach created a tension behind the scenes that mirrors the psychological intrigue woven into the film itself. The title Spellbound, chosen after Hitchcock's initial suggestion, perfectly encapsulates the suspenseful journey undertaken by the characters. Its success, reflected in pre-release surveys, stands as a testament to Hitchcock's directorial prowess and the captivating performances of the lead actors. In summary, Spellbound isn't just a classic Hollywood mystery, it's a convergence of different acting methods, meticulous direction, and a carefully chosen title that encapsulates the film's suspenseful essence. The subtle nuances behind the scenes, from lip movements to disagreements on acting techniques, add layers to the movie's intriguing narrative. This cinematic gem, where internal and external elements collide to create an unforgettable viewing experience, remains an enduring piece of Hollywood history. Producer David O. Selznick initially envisioned Joseph Cotton, Dorothy McGuire, and Paul Lucas in roles later inhabited by Gregory Peck, Ingrid Bergman, and Leo G. Carroll, respectively. There was even contemplation of coaxing Greta Garbo out of retirement for the role of Dr. Constance Peterson. In a surprising turn, retakes director William Cameron Menzies, initially disenchanted with a dream sequence, opted to remain uncredited. Hitchcock, however, gladly accepted credit when the sequence garnered both critical acclaim and audience appreciation. Sir Alfred Hitchcock bluntly labeled the movie as just another manhunt wrapped up in pseudo-psychoanalysis. This straightforward assessment provides insight into his pragmatic view of the narrative. The behind-the-scenes fabric reveals intriguing tales. During filming, a mischievous prop mishap involving an antique chair added unintended humor to a scene. Gregory Peck's unexpected forgetfulness during a pivotal monologue turned into a raw, genuine portrayal, showcasing the actor's ability to adapt on set. In certain scenes, keen observers may notice Peck silently mouthing lines while Bergman speaks, a subtle act possibly to combat pressure or guard against forgetting lines. The film's original title, Hidden Impulse, was eventually replaced with Spellbound following a suggestion from studio secretary Ruth Rickman, a choice that proved successful in pre-release surveys. Hitchcock's dissatisfaction with Peck's facial expressions, attributed to a clash with Stanislavski training, reflected the director's precision and the actor's internalized technique. Despite the tension, the collaboration between Bergman and Peck contributed to the allure. Chosen over Hitchcock's initial suggestion, the movie encapsulates the suspenseful journey of the characters. Its success in pre-release surveys stands testament to the directorial prowess and the captivating performances of the lead actors. In summary, it's not merely a Hollywood mystery. It's a convergence of acting methods, meticulous direction, and a carefully chosen title that encapsulates its suspenseful essence. 